hello friends welcome back in last video we have seen how to do a cost optimization and we seen different different methods okay we seen almost 10 methods and uh, out of that 10 methods you guys the response back very huge uh, send multiple comments emails about asking uh, do give some practical demo okay so today we are going to see aws compute optimizer this is a inbuilt tool from aws and let's see how we can uh, decide or we can uh, practically do a demo about cost optimizations okay so before start the video if you still not subscribe to my channel please go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for this channel this is very informative okay so let's start Okay, so once you log in into AWS console, go to search option and just type AWS Compute Optimizer. Okay, so then once you logged in, you will see like this screen. Okay, you can see this is the dashboard. Okay, and you will see the saving opportunity. Okay, and if you scroll down, you can see uh, how many uh, instance we have under provision how many instance we have over provisions okay so scroll down okay you can see here ec2 even you can see ebs lambda so the services which you are using okay so aws optimizer basically it will show you all those services and where we have chance for optimization and reduce our billing okay so as many of you ask me a question okay how to use the inbuilt tool instead of using third party tool how to use aws optimizer okay so let's see here this is the live demo for you all of you okay okay so now let's see here uh, we can see under provision five instance so basically definitely we need to increase the size of this okay but over provision there are 27 instance okay so 62% of my instance are over provision uh, anyway I am able to optimize few of them but I am still working on one of this okay so let's click here okay and you will get the list of all your over provision okay so okay let's see here uh, you can see this one of the instance okay is estimated monthly saving okay so saving opportunity is 50 percent okay for this the m4 large okay so let's if you want to just click out here okay on the instance id okay you can see the options the current instance is m4 to extra large okay and if we go to option one okay we'll probably save 50 percent which is dollar uh, one ninety five. Okay, if we go option two like R four extra large. Okay, will we save forty one percent and it will be one ninety five. Okay, and if we go option three T four G two extra large. Okay, we are saving approximately ninety five dollars. Okay, so this is the one of the thing which we can see out here okay one more thing to check okay always check uh, the cpu utilization okay your cpu utilization uh, if you are reducing uh, your instance uh, type okay so make sure your cpu utilization is not more than 60 percent utilize at least for two months even the memory should not utilize more than 60 percent at least for two months if you have that report then go ahead and reduce your instance type so let's go back to the dashboard again scroll up you can see the recommendation for ec2 and the dashboard okay so you can see here you can see the multiple uh, comments out here the finding reasons which aws given okay so let's see here the cpu is over provision here the EBS I, uh, IOPS is over provision okay so all those recommendations we need to consider here we can see CPU and memory both are over provision even the EBS uh, IOPS also over provision okay so all this we need to consider and definitely we save a huge cost I, 
I have already started this you have seen in last video and if you can see the EBS volume I have already optimized and you can see we not have any uh, volume okay which we can optimize now even same for auto scaling I am already worked on one group and one group uh, still I am uh, going through with the findings and uh, will go through okay so let's go back here so this is one of the instance okay you can see compute optimizer found that instance CPU memory EBS EBS IOPS network bandwidth everything is over provision okay so we need to fix this okay so basically check as I said earlier check uh, the last two months graph okay it should not uh, more than 60% utilization okay in all prospect to whichever you are going down and just follow the AWS recommendation okay so if if you are uh, uh, getting very tough call to go on option one okay always start from option three okay so which is uh, very less risk okay then step by step uh, go to option one whichever comfortable for you guys okay so this is very sweet and short video for AWS compute optimization based on our last uh, cost saving video if you have any questions and if you want a demo on any topic on those cost optimizations just uh, let me know or ping me in the comment section and uh, i will definitely try to make the video that's it for today thank you